Wayne Goodwin is the Commissioner of Insurance for the state of North Carolina, and we're delighted to have this opportunity to learn more about him and about this position. Wayne, I know you could talk at length about uh, the subject, but tell us what your department does that affects the people of North Carolina. The Department of Insurance, which is also the Office of State Fire Marshal, touches the lives of everybody in this state. Everybody who has a pocketbook, everybody who has a business, everybody who needs insurance, which is everybody, is affected by us. We regulate insurance agents, insurance companies, modular housing. We regulate bail bondsmen. Uh, we also train firefighters and inspect public buildings, and it goes on and on and on. But we touch every pocketbook and every, every local government and every business in the state. You mentioned you license insurance companies to do business in the state, keep reputable companies, I suppose, in, in North Carolina. Uh, but there's a consumer protection aspect to this, too. If somebody feels like an insurance company has not treated them properly, tell us what your office does to help. Well, consumer protection is our goal first, now, and always. And through our consumer services division, we field about 80,000 calls a year and what we do uh, before any, anyone is licensed, before any company is licensed, there's a very, uh, very high bar to meet both in state law and through our procedures to make sure that consumers are protected, that they're not gouged, that they're not taken advantage of by people who have used unscrupulous measures here or in other states. So uh, we, we scrutinize every filing by anybody who wants to have a license in North Carolina involving this department. And they do not get a license unless they have met uh, the toughest of measures. And I'm very pleased with how we've uh, been able to operate over these many years. Now I know that you're a lawyer, you served in the General Assembly of North Carolina, uh, and then you served under uh, former State Insurance Commissioner Jim Long. Uh, tell us how that helped prepare you for this job. Well I'll tell you this, I never imagined or dreamt that I would be the State Insurance Commissioner, but everything that my life has involved and I've been blessed with has prepared me for it. Uh, both as, a, as someone who has a, a legal background, uh, someone who has worked as a legislator, uh, someone who has been the, uh, an assistant commissioner and worked in the department. All those things gave me a view that nobody else has, in my opinion, in this state. Uh, as an attorney, I'm able to hold hearings and, and understand what the laws are and know the insurance laws of this state. Now, that's vital for my role because we do a lot of decision making that involve the laws. As a lawmaker, it's, it, uh, I learned about how agencies operate, but now as an agency head, I know what goes to the minds of legislators when they're looking at budgets and policy making. So that's vital. And as someone who served as the assistant commissioner with Jim Long, uh, I was able to learn firsthand what's ex what was expected of the insurance commissioner, both as a, a manager of people, but more importantly, as someone who's there to serve the state and to protect consumers in every way possible. Now, you, you're one of 10 uh, constitutionally designated Council of State members and serve, uh, uh, get elected statewide. There are a lot of states that appoint their insurance commissioners. Uh, why are we better off electing rather than appointing? Well, there are 11 states that elect uh, their insurance commissioner, and m many of these states are in the South, but they're all throughout the country. I believe it's important for an office such as insurance commissioner to be elected because it puts my finger on the pulse of the people. Uh, and when you're talking about insurance rates, when you're talking about all the other things that the department does, the people want to have someone they trust. And in those, those states that have an appointed insurance commissioner, very often is someone who uh, has been a, uh, a, a big financial supporter of a governor or someone who is just looking at a way to get a golden parachute and wind back up in the private sector and, and, and make tons of money. So, so it's important that we have somebody who is independent, particularly in this rate uh, making process. Yes, sir. It is vital we have someone who is independent and has the background and the wherewithal to do this job without relying upon the special interests. So when you have the people electing uh, the insurance commissioner, like with the other offices on the Council of State, independence determines and rules the day, and I think that helps the, all Tar Heels. Now, there's some, there's some Commissioner Goodman that, that, would, that would have the rate-making capacity, your powers to be able to finally set rates for insurance companies. They would have that be uh, turned over to a legislative subcommittee or another group of people. You have vehemently opposed that, saying that's just not in the best interest of consumers. Tell us why. 
Well, the reason why is that in those states that have attempted that, you had special interests deciding what the rates are. And the best way for the people to decide and the people to, to determine what's in the best interest is, is for them to select the insurance commissioner. Uh, if you have a, an appointed board, whether appointed by the governor or the legislature, it'll be chock full of special interests, and that means insurance companies and other folks, and the people will not be protected. And if you have a, an appointed insurance commissioner, as I mentioned a moment ago, you won't have someone who is only responsive to the people. You'll have someone who's responsible and responding to whomever appointed him or her. And uh, so appointing the insurance commissioner will hurt consumers. Setting rates by an elected insurance commissioner protects consumers. All right. Now, so I, I'm sure the people of North Carolina don't know a great deal. You've helped us understand a lot more about what the commissioner of insurance does and what your department does. I guess the question is, how do we compare with other states? We have the lowest average auto insurance rates in the South from Delaware to Texas. We have the eighth lowest in the country. The only states that have lower auto insurance rates than us are states you have to call ahead to have an accident, like North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho, Wyoming, Kansas. In terms of homeowners' rates, we have some of the lowest among the Southeast, and I know that's been an issue for a number of years as we face storms, but we still have some of the lowest rates. And we've received awards nationally for our rate making and for the rates that we have, and, and we continue to have companies coming here hand over fist to do business here in North Carolina. I was going to say, with, with one of the big complaints is that uh, if you don't allow rate increases, sufficient rate increases, that the insurance companies won't do business here. That you're saying that's not a problem? Well, it, it is an issue, that, and that's part of why my proven record is so important, is that you need someone who understands the balance, is that you need to con protect consumers from you know, excessive insurance rates and from discriminatory insurance rates, but you also need to have an insurance commissioner and the, and the department that understands that companies choose to do business here, and they need to make a reasonable profit, and they need to be free from fraud. So it's a balancing act, and that's something which I have learned both as commissioner and as assistant commissioner and in my other capacities before this office. All right, so you're campaigning for four more years. Yes, sir. Uh, why should someone vote for you to be retained as Commissioner of Insurance? Well, voters should vote for me because I'm the only candidate who has a proven record uh, in serving in this office. I've saved us $1.4 billion the last three and a half years through rate cuts and refunds and rebates and restitution. Uh, through my focus on fighting insurance fraud, we have uh, arrested more than 600 people and had, have had 330 people who have been convicted already. And as state fire marshal, I've been able to fight for the needs of our fire departments and helping firefighters get the tools and resources they need. So in this race, people have a choice. I'm the only one who has a proven record, the only one who has not uh, worked for any entity regulated by the department, and someone who has the balanced experience to get the job done. Thank you, Wayne Goodwin. Thank you. Nice to learn more about your department. It's my pleasure.